Hello and welcome guys to another video of First Word in Chaos and this time before we start the uh, actual gameplay uh, it's, it will be a replay actually from Jumbra and before we started I want to show you guys my build for Jumbra actually that I used for this gameplay I tried it the first time actually in a ranked match and it was pretty good actually I wasn't like um, I wasn't thinking that it would work so good but I wanna share it with you guys cause it's an amazing build for Jumbra and if you wanna play Jumbra good like a pro and in this gameplay you will see how amazing this build is for Jumbra and that I can play heroes really good actually if I want so, um, so anybody who is calling me noob out there you can shut your mouth cause I can play good if I want and yeah whatever let's let's start with the talents actually yeah and yeah, I, I put uh, 30 points in Guardian, 5 points in Strong, because I needed 8 HP, 60 HP, 5 points in Resistance, your Magical Defense is increased by 10, 5 points in Armor, Physical Defense increased by 10, 3 points in Toughness, increase your Physical Defense an additional 1 per level, 3 points in Defense, increase Magical Defense an additional 1 per level, and Fast Healer increases the amount you heal by 15%, Resilient increases your HP an additional 9 per level, Block, 2 points in that reduces all damage taken by 2 and last stand reduces all damage taken by 10% when your HP falls below 30% and 5 points in support increases your movement speed by 5% and 5 points in magic mage cause we need that skill uh, fast casting reduces cooldown time by 5% like that are the talents guys and now let's go for the tablets that I'm using for Jambra actually here is it guys, I'm using the Toxicity Tablet. Deals 12 times the caster's level damage to attackers when they use skills that damage your hero. This effect can only be triggered once every 3 seconds. That's really important actually. And inscriptions is really good if you have physical defense and magical defense. And yeah, I would put 2 magical defense and 2 physical defense actually, but I don't got 2 magical defense. Um, yeah, cause it's not possible cause this uh, tablet needs three order inscriptions, so you can get three physical defense or one HP and two physical defense. It's up to you what you prefer, HP or physical defense, guys. And the third one, the uh, cost one, it will be magical defense. Actually, I have the new one, like increase magical defense by 0.30 times the hero's level. And yeah, that's, that, that's tablet. Uh, like... That's the tablet I'm using cause it's really good for Jumbra actually cause toxicity guys it's really underestimated cause in late game like you can deal up to 12 times the caster's level, the caster's level guys like you don't need to do anything the enemies are just using skills against you and killing yourselves and in combination with I will come to the next tablet in combination with the courage tablet it's really overpowered actually because you're getting less damage if you're getting stun or something and the enemies are dealing more damage to themselves and with Jumbra it's really OP because you can heal yourself up every time and go back to the enemy if he's using skills against you he's dealing his self damage like it's really OP guys and yeah the next tablet is the courage tablet as I mentioned it's really overpowered with toxicity because when being stunned or silenced in the next 5 seconds all direct, direct damage you receive will be reduced by 15 times plus your level percent so that means on level 15 you're receiving 30 percent less damage if you're stunned or silence guys that's really cool actually because uh, with chamber sometimes you're going for late game actually and 30 percent less damage every time you're silenced or stunned is amazing actually for the next five seconds is that it has no cooldown it appears every time you're silenced or stunned guys so yeah, if you're playing against a Balan, this will be silenced in your 5 seconds, so you're receiving for up to 10-15 seconds, like 30% less damage on level 15. And yeah, the inscriptions again, HP and uh, the magic, uh, pure through magical defense, actually. I would use magical defense, but I don't have the inscriptions, guys, it's up to you. But more HP and defense to got, you got in the inscriptions is better. And the last one, it's really important, the Tablet of immor Immortality. It's really underused, many people are underestimating this tablet, guys. But it is really amazing in combination with Jamra's heal. Increases all heal effects on you by 40%, your HP is at or under 20%. That means, in combination with the Fast Healer talent on the 
uh, tank skills like faster three points in it you're getting 15 percent more heal plus the 40 percent from that you're receiving 55 percent more heal that means if you're healing yourself with chambra if you're healing skill under 20 percent that means you're getting 55 percent more heal guys that means you're getting a ton of heal and the enemy thinks you're dead you're healing yourself up again and yeah the enemy is just standing there like oh shit he's healed up and yeah again guys hp inscriptions physical defense magical defense yeah that's it guys that are the tablets for jumbo remember it again i'm i'm uh, i'm <sighs> i'm saying it again tablet of toxicity courage tablet and the tablet of immortality guys really important those three tablets are necessary for this genre build like i'm using it and I, it works really well with me like that's it guys that's the build for genre how to play it actually you will see it in the gameplay how i played genre and it was a really amazing match actually and uh it was really amazing like this was a really good match guys and i hope it will help you out to figure out how to play genre actually the first item i was going for was actually the the pendant the purifying pendant to give my teammates heal and in really necessary situations to heal myself up actually if i need to tank a lot because my teammates are not every time focused but yeah giving my teammates heal and the second item is like it depends like if you have a lot of physical damage dealers actually i was going for the hades armor actually and the next item is the horn the horn is like you're getting physical defense and your teammates nearby getting 60% more attack speed and yourself getting attack speed 60% it's really useful for your teammates actually if you if they don't want to buy attack speed and buy more damage like they are getting 60% more attack speed and the next item would be like situationally guys but it's good to also get for uh, this I forgot the name of the item whatever you will see the full item build actually in the game and at the, uh, at the end of the game guys so you can you get to know you get to know how to play jumper how how to build how to build jumper up and how to support your teammates the right way sometimes i had some stupid deaths here but i hope you guys don't mind but it was a really amazing match and please don't skip any part of the video guys just watch it till the end and yeah, let me know guys if I should improve my Jombra or if it's really OP like this because this build is really amazing. I figured it out myself actually. I know there are many tutorials and many people using this build maybe, but yeah. And every time don't forget to max out the third skill of Jombra. The healing skill needs to be maxed out first if you, if you want to support and stay alive because healing means that you can stay longer in the fight and support your teammates that means yeah you can stay longer in the fight without getting back every time so you can heal up and support your teammates if the fight starts again and it's really necessary because sometimes it's really time to go to the mogul and steal it from the enemies or something else so you don't can go back every time if you have low health just heal yourself up go it go for the fight so it's really important to max out the heal first and the second skill i would max out is the uh, second skill actually so the stun duration it increases and the last skill to max out is the first skill because if you max it out first you're getting too much damage to yourself actually because all skills from jumbra use your own health but not the third skill the third skill gives you health and uh, movement speed so yeah it's really important and as again the toxicity tablet and the courage tablet are saving you from damage the toxicity tablet like you can see here uh like you can see uh, on the enemies like health if he's using skills against you then you will see that it will pop up a number uh, over his health so he will receive damage so you know the toxicity tablet is working so yeah i'm talking again too much guys almost 10 minutes talking and yeah whatever i hope you guys will enjoy the gameplay and become a battle genre player and see you guys in the next one Peace.
life for this This one part, this one third I've always missed No, just don't let it go I started the fight but now I'm losing So will I fall again? Drowning in the fears and now I know 